Hey everyone, Jade here. So a couple of days ago, I asked you in my community post to vote for the topic regarding which I should create my next video. And 69% out of more than 2500 people voted for the video regarding the best graphic settings for PUBG PC Lite. So here it is. This video will help you to find the best balance between visuals and performance along with the ease of spotting enemies. But before I start, make sure to subscribe to my channel and appreciate the hard work that I put in each one of my videos. Now let's begin. So first, this is how the game looks in Ultra as compared to the best custom settings that I figured out. And as you can see that even though the game doesn't look much different, I'm getting about 100 to 110 frames more with my custom graphic settings. So now, let's go through each of the settings one by one. So first up is the render scale. So this setting basically decides on how sharp the game looks and you can set it at a value between 70 to 120. So even though you'll get the best quality by setting it to 120, I recommend you to put it at 100 as going beyond 100 will surely cost you a lot of frames. And anyhow, setting it at 100 is more than enough to make the game look sharp. Next up is field of vision. So this is completely based on the personal preference as what it does is it increases or decreases the field of view of a player in FPP mode. The higher you set it, the more field it covers. I personally like it at its default value of 90 but it's all up to you on what you think is best for you. Next up is anti-aliasing. So anti-aliasing basically smoothens out the jagged lines. Very low setting will make the game sharper but with more jagged lines and ultra will remove all the jagged lines but will make the game look a bit blurry. Ultra setting will also require a stronger GPU. So the sweet spot according to me is low. Now keep in mind that you can set all the above mentioned settings to ultra if you've got a strong enough GPU as it'll provide you the best visuals. But it should be noted that the ultra settings basically won't make much difference in spotting enemies as compared to my custom settings. But it will surely cost you a lot of frames. Now the next setting is shadows. So keep shadows at very low for spotting enemies a lot easier as it completely removes the shadow. But keep in mind that it'll make the game look a lot less realistic so according to me the best shadow setting would be low as it'll be easier to spot enemies due to less details and the game would also look playable enough. Next up is textures. So this is the setting that mostly decides on how good the game looks. So I recommend you to set it at ultra if your system is capable of it. But if not, high would be more than enough. Anything less than that will surely give you more FPS but the game will look really really bad. I would have suggested you to go below high if this video was just based on performance. But since it's not, we need to care about the graphic aspects too. Next up are three settings. Effects, foliage and view distance. So I basically tried and tested various settings to see how these basically affect the game practically. But to my surprise, there isn't any difference between the ultra and very low settings for each of these options. So just set effects, foliage and view distance to very low, as setting it to a higher preset won't make any difference. And last but not the least, we have lighting. You can clearly see which setting looks good. So without wasting your time, I'll just recommend you to enable this or the game will start looking like PUBG Mobile, which I'm sure you guys don't want. So this is basically the summary of all of it, the best optimal settings for playing PUBG PC Lite. This video took me a huge amount of time to make, so make sure to like and subscribe to show some appreciation and motivate me to make a lot more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video, till then, Jade out.